and slip in. You know, so that it's still vibrating. Right? That's the only way you can induce a current if it just vibrates. And so it moves relative to the field. A good question. Right? I just let it go up and down. It's generating electricity. So if you follow, follow the wire, see if you can find the motor. And I'm operating. So you might have noticed the wire in the hallway, you know, like on the ceiling, going over to Mr. Flusel's room. So sometimes I'll put the motor over there, and if I want to warn him, you know, like an administrator's coming or something, you know, do this. Okay, so it's a Rita cup, coil of wire glued to it, and a magnet. So you can, you know, you can get some relative motion there between the coil and the magnet, a little bit, okay? Just enough. And I'm gonna put this on top. And then I'm gonna go to an amplifier, play the radio, and the microphone will pick up the radio and, and put it out the speaker. So I just have to hook this up. So I'm hooking up the amplifier. Now this is pretty loud, so in order to test it, you probably have to put this up to your ear, you know, to assure that it's really coming out of here. Okay, so I'll turn the radio on. Like, what happened to the radio? <laughs> Probably get rush on. Too much. Now you can take Some ad. <laughs> Could you imagine sitting with your parents <laughs> watching an advertising? Isn't that embarrassing? Yeah. Okay. So, as you can see, it's not working, of course. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> never, that never happened before. Uh, Senior care arises. There's no place <laughs> like home. Your loved ones should never have to give up living at home. Oh, Visiting no. angels will provide home get the care other for amp. your mom or dad. I have to get the other amp. Work the other way. There's no reason why I shouldn't. Natural gas extraction tax in Pennsylvania. During his conference Monday, we'll set a pair of bills no, in the house and set it approved, which generate about sure. 250 million EMB state the next fiscal year. Oh, there it year. is. Governor Wolf says Pennsylvania is the only right. gas I can't confirm it's working. Okay. Yeah, we can hold that. Hold that from someone else. It's a pretty long line. So. If you want to. <laughs> but it's on the radio. It's AM radio. You can get everything on there. Right. Is it coming through? I don't know anything else. I don't know anything else. Alright. It was, it was right before. Broken when you cast it to me now. Come on. You did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Yeah, I did too. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Yeah. Is that a Yeah. Yeah, right there. Some decent magnetic field. Or a new angle. Let's see, so I'm going to... Sorry, that's so loud. Right. And then the vibrations would move the magnet, which would cause a current. Yeah, it must be the connection. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, the turn when the light is lit. Now unscrew the light bulb. Go ahead, unscrew, and you'll see how easy now it is for you to turn this. All right, so it's a nice, also, demonstration of conservation of energy. You can't get something for nothing. Okay. All right, as far as skin scale, the value increased. Why isn't that coming through? That never happened before. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Boy, that took a long time. Okay, so did you notice that the springs, the, the reading went up, yeah, right? Nice. Because this is inducing a current in such a way, right? Lenz's law, it induces a current in the tube in such a way that you get an opposing magnetic field, right? Slowing it down. Can't get something for nothing. Right, so if this is inducing a current, then there has to be 
it has to require some work to do that. Okay. I mean, imagine if this fell freely through, just like it was in free fall and, in, and a current was induced. Wouldn't that be free energy then? Okay. So it has to slow down. Yeah. <laughs> Rubber rod, right, it puts excess electrons and there's a lack of electrons on the wool. And there's free electrons in this um, soda can and they're going to be repelled by the excess electrons on here, leaving the closest side positive so it's attractive. Okay. How about a magnet? Okay, let, me get a real, let me get a real powerful magnet. Will it be attracted to a magnet? The magnet will be attracted to. No. Well, it will. Just kidding. Who's the magnet? Remember from last year? See if there's an attraction here. It won't. Right. Nothing, right? Is there, can you think of a way, though, I can get it to move? The, the aluminum can? No. Move the magnet? Like that? Because right, what's happening now is you're inducing a current in the aluminum, which in turn, or whatever the metal is, which in turn sets up a magnetic field, which opposes the very magnetic field that's causing the induced current in the first place. Lenz's law, right? It's a conservation of energy. Isn't that cool? So you can get it. I touched it there, but you shouldn't be able to move it without actually touching it. Wouldn't it always roll back to where it was because of conservation of energy? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, if I move it away fast enough like that, let me get a more powerful magnet and see. I remember there was questions. Why is it You always ask, like, really it? Why is it? Thanks. Why is it? That was the magnet. These things are like 30 bucks a piece. Jeez. They're expensive. There we go. Okay, I was wrong. is a little bit of a challenge for me. Okay, there you go. So that's now that's oriented correctly. So now this end goes to a coil. Right, that's how these are wired. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay. Is he that loud? What? <laughs> really has I don't think so. <laughs> and then this goes here and goes to the other end of the coil. The only reason why I do this, by the way, is to get a break from that. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then this goes to a capacitor. Okay. All right, so I'm just following that sort of diagram I drew. Okay, this is a nonpolar capacitor, so it doesn't matter whether the positive or negative is hooked up to it. Okay, and then this goes here. All right, so I'm right there now. And then this goes here, okay. Now I go to the diode, okay, now you look at the way the diode is oriented, the, the arrow points in the direction of the, current. what current, the conventional or electrons? Conventional. conventional. Right, so it's the direction of positive charge, that's that wire, mm -hmm. so that goes from here to here. I'm going to put down the diode now. I don't need to hold that. Okay, and then this, okay, so I have that. I'm kind of losing track. Okay, now this goes here. The white. Thing. Yep, it actually goes here, right? Now you say, no, it doesn't. It goes there. Well, it's the same place. Right? I think that's it, right? Oh, I need a switch. <laughs> you should have a switch for this one. Okay, so I'll put this here. here and then this here I don't think I showed this to my students last year remember mm -hmm. did I try it okay I didn't get it to work last year and I'll tell you why let me make sure this works first so. okay 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do first, that's what this is doing, that, that's the magnet, okay, is I'm gonna be charging up the capacitor. Notice this switch is open, mm -hmm. so no current will go through the diode right now, okay, but it will charge up the capacitor, okay. So if I do this, by just moving the magnet relative to the coil, or you could do it the other way too, you could have this move up and down. Right, of course. In fact, that reminds me, there's generators that they design that put, they have floats on the coil, right? And, and the waves, the ocean waves cause it to bob up and down. And then they, they might have a magnet embedded in the, in the seabed or whatever, however they do that. And that generates electricity. Isn't that cool? Okay, so let's see if this works. So if I close this, and it lights. Okay? If I keep it closed, it will stay lit. Okay, now let me do something. Let me do this and open the switch quick. All right, and then I'll show you when I close it, it picks up where it left off. Okay, did you have a question? Yeah, so if you were in space and you didn't have to worry about um, uh, aliens. aliens, no, uh, <laughs> sorry, that was rude. <laughs> what's it called when they have, like the pendulum? Oh, no, I could you essentially have infinite yeah, power? Infinite. Never. And the reason is, first of all, you can't have a perfect spring. And then perfect. second of all, yeah. because you can't have a perfect spring, it's going to heat up the mm. spring. Could mm. you do it using uh, magnets? Magnets, again, you can't have a perfect magnet. So there's going to be some imperfections in the field. Okay. Right? So you, the bottom line is, is kind of you can't empty. have, you can't get something for nothing no matter how you look at it. That's a pretty solid law. <laughs> okay. Guff is actually just a coil like that. And um, that's basically what's in here too, a coil. So the alternating current that this sets up gives a, an alternating magnetic field which interacts with a coil here, creating inducing a current mm -hmm. and then the speaker. So what I'm gonna do is hook this up, just to demonstrate this to the radio, right? So I'm gonna plug this into the radio. Give it right to your door. Take that out. Free uh, every right back, I need an adapter. You, join, you can get some free shipping, yeah. discount codes, and offers on exclusive gear. It's a no-brainer. Go to blackrifcoffee.com off your Coffee.com slash USA for 15% off. Blackrifcoffee.com slash USA. Did you get that? Your shot at $1,000 now. Next to keep it. Listen to this. You'll get a test confirmed. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to hook this up to here. And then take this over here. That is a very well used wire. Mm -hmm. Wow, oh, hello. Hey. So that takes away some of the mystery, probably. Right? Okay, now, the you know, next thing I can do is I'll just leave that there and I'll bring the old amp over. Mm -hmm. That works. I'll bring both, just in case. Last year, I I, should say, you know to be? I don't want to no, say I, I invented this. I discovered it. It was already out there. I'm sure. Not what they say. So. So just take a loop of wire to that loop. Is that right? Like radio transmission is basically what that is. Right, so this is sending out an alternating electromagnetic yeah, field, which induces a current in this water here. Isn't that cool? So you don't even need to touch it? Either. Nope. Yeah, you don't need to touch it. And that's the way they transmit radio stations, you know, the distances. It just has to be strong enough. Okay. Current. All right, the electromagnetic gun. Right, because you can't get a complete loop. Mm -hmm. So you won't get a magnetic field. Yeah. Good catch. Good catch. Good catch. <laughs> All right. And then, of course, you can light a light. Just a little birdie here. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, hello. So, all right. 
So it's really, you could also call that a transformer, yeah. right? Because this this is probably a, a, a step down, right? Less coils here than there. Mm -hmm. right. you guys, ready to go? Yeah. yeah, you guys can just. It's all. It's all. What is a meter? It's a motor in a sense, right? Because there's a magnet and a coil of wire. So when the current goes in, right, it goes around the coil of wire, which induces a magnetic field, which interacts with the magnet that's glued to the needle. All right, so it goes. Okay, but this goes all the way down and back. That's a big loop of wire, okay? So, excuse me, I have to bring it down, but you have to do this. I just have it hung up here so that people didn't trip on it earlier. Excuse me. Can anyone guess what I'm going to do? Uh, you're going to move the wire. Good I'm going guess. to generate electricity <laughs> using the magnetic field of the Earth. Right? He's going to, he's going to, the magnetic field of the Earth is directed that way. So I have, I'm going to have the loop going like this. Okay. So could you guys like move up forward or just stand for a while? Because this, this is going to be looping. Why? Yeah, I don't want to hit you in the head. Unless you don't mind. <laughs> Some people like that. Like if they have allergies and they feel pressure in their head, it feels good to hit your head a little bit. Alright. Okay, so you can watch this all you want, but I think it's more exciting to look at the needle. And you can see I'm generating AC. Alright? Alright? No, no, that's I'm generating. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Okay, now watch. Well, it says DC, but it's going the different direction. Yeah. Now, can, can you think of another way I can generate electricity? I can do this. What else could I do with this? Change, that's changing phi, right? Did you teach that? Yeah, flux. Right. Not the phase no, the the flux. 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 But it's, it's the angle. Right. Negative. Right, so you could also change Lens. 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 You could also change A, right? And you can right. change A by dropping it. So watch the needle. Right? And that's DC. Right? Or right. right? And then it should go the other way. Right? Went the other way. It's a little hard to see. It's easier to see when it drops. Okay? Yeah, so you move the magnet towards it would... Well, we already have... Right, if you move the magnetic field of the Earth. Right, you could do that. Yeah, the magnets we have would be too small to yeah. register anything. Well, so what's the other way you can do that? Change B, which we can't do. Change A. Change A, and then the rotation. Change the direction of A. Right. Well, which we do. Change both. That's B, it. A, right. I don't know any other way. Yeah. And most generate. Cool. And then what you could do is you could attach. I, I attempted this, but it, without much success. But if you get it just perfectly balanced, right, you should be able to hover this over it. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh yeah. But then. Yeah, yeah but it would it have. Might, you might would have to have. Tomato, what did you feel though? What was that doing? Do you want to try? Go like this. Like this is real, oh, do that. It feels like you're dragging. Was it pushing you, pulling you towards it? Yeah, so yeah. cool. Uh, it feels like you're dragging it through water when you do that. Just don't touch it. I move it. You feel a resistance to it, right? Yeah, and because you get tired. Like if you let that go, that would fly out of your hands. Yeah. Right? That would not be true. Don't let it fly out of your hands. What demonstration was this? Is this kind of like that we did? The magnetic break. Where we had the, those plates going through. So, what are you having induced in this? Eddy currents. Eddy Eddy currents. currents. So, by conservation of energy, if that kinetic energy is being. Okay, let's try let's to again. connect this here. Okay. There it is. Okay. Jumped out. Did everyone see that? Yeah. No. Everybody explain the energy there. Okay, watch. Okay, charge it. And then I flip this over. And it pops whoa, out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So it's a motor. Here you had a. Sh All right, okay, let's try let's to connect this here. Okay. There it is. Okay. Jumped out. Did everyone see that? Yeah, no. no. Everybody explain the energy there. Okay, watch. Okay, charge it. And then I flip this over and it pops whoa, out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So it's a motor. Here you had a sh scale. The value increased. Why isn't that coming through? It's stuck. That never happened before. Oh, it's still going. <laughs>
There you go. <laughs> Boy, that took a long time. <laughs> okay, so did you notice that the springs, the, the reading went up, yeah, right? Yes. Because this is inducing a current in such a way, right, Lenz's law, it induces a current in the tube in such a way that you get an opposing magnetic field, right, slowing it down. Can't get something for nothing, right? So the, if this is inducing a current, then there has to be, it has to require some work to do that. Right? I mean, imagine if this fell freely through just like it was in free fall and, in, and a current was induced. Wouldn't that be free energy then? So it has to slow down. So is the entire ripple connected? Tube acting like a wire? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You hear it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 